Hey all of you, welcome back. Here we're taking a closer look at the Ninja Dual Brew coffee machine. In the past two months that I've had this, this compact and fairly priced Ninja product has served me pretty well. After all, look at all these beverages that I have made with it and really has made my coffee videos and shorts a breeze. I'm surprised since Ninja has not been so good to me the past two products that I've had, but I think with this, they may be on an upswing. Their blenders are still bad. Let's get into it. Off the bat, this is not an espresso maker. Even though Ninja's own website promotes drinks like lattes, cappuccinos, macchiatos, and for someone who isn't reading between the lines and is not aware of how these drinks are actually supposed to be made, super rich coffee concentrate is very much not espresso. All those drinks I mentioned earlier, they start from a shot or two of espresso. So let's get that cleared out first. And if you're liking what you're seeing, then consider supporting and following us on these other platforms as well. And it always is a good thing if you subscribe and turn on all notifications. Now there are a few types of coffee lovers. People who prefer drip coffee, espresso machine lovers, AeroPress, um, cold brew, French press, Turkish, and it just goes on and on. You know, there's a half a dozen more types of coffee lovers. And this machine safely fits in the drip coffee category. So if you are someone who loves drip coffee with pod or ground coffee and love the occasional trip to your local coffee house, then your body will be fine because you clearly are more of an enthusiast and are not a purist when it comes to coffee. And the price of the machine closely reflects the category that the Ninja Dual Brew sits in. 260 Canadian dollars and for a Christmas sale, it's currently going at 189 Canadian dollars. It's honestly not too bad given all the other features and trinkets that it comes with. By the way, I bought this machine with my own money and this is not sponsored at all. But if you wanna support me, you can click on the link down below if you are interested in getting this product. When it comes to specifications, this coffee machine fits snugly onto your kitchen countertop, measuring at around 15 by nine, by 11 inches. Oh yeah, and the water reservoir can be moved to the back so that it's hidden from the view and that tank can hold up to 60 ounces or 12 cups of water. It's pretty neat and this configuration changes the dimensions to 15 by 7 by 14 inches. I'm glad that there's some flexibility when it comes to the contested area on our kitchen countertops. The overall interface is quite modern with responsive touch screen options, large clear text, and a satisfying switch on the side to change the machine from coffee to water mode. We'll get into that soon. Down the front is a knob which allows you to set the amount of coffee and you can go pretty precise, which is quite convenient and a satisfying click when you're ready to brew. Now drip coffee can be made using a standard number four filter if you're all about using ground coffee or you can switch to using a standard K-cup sized coffee pod by quickly finagling with this adapter. I have to admit, switching the adapters is not intuitive and very slight adjustments and movements have to be made to replace these adapters. Reading some reviews of this machine online, it seems there's some misconceptions of how the over ice setting works. So here's what I found. So let's say I select the eight ounce option, well it's not gonna output eight ounces of liquid from the machine. But instead, you want to have your cup basically completely full with ice. And you can see as the coffee pours out, it starts to melt the ice. And I've also noticed the coffee tends to come out a little slower. Maybe it's throttled a little bit so that by the time the coffee that's super hot is brewed and goes into that ice filled glass, by the time the ice melts, there's enough ice left to make your 
cold iced coffee but then some of that ice has turned into the water to make up the total eight ounce volume there are a number of coffee settings classic drip coffee rich which brews a stronger dose than classic over ice for great iced coffee and then specialty brew which is a super rich coffee concentrate that you can use to create delicious lattes macchiatos cappuccinos and other coffee house style drinks all in all it essentially is four ounces of strong espresso like coffee and on top of that switching the star go reveals a different ui for everything water boiled or hot and it really is ready within seconds check this out the best part the water spout is completely independent of the coffee system so you can get pure unadulterated water with no hints of coffee the carafe here comes with the package and can hold as much as 60 ounces of liquid and while this is not a thermal carafe the hot plate down below is designed to hold the temperature around 184 to 190 degrees fahrenheit it turns off automatically after two hours but can be programmed to work for as long as four hours and if you are lazy or you like to automate your life then there is a delay brew setting and you can really just specify the exact time when you want the coffee to start brewing the machine also has this clean icon on the front and when it's time to clean a particular setting like water or rich coffee setting it will light up and will tell you to clean and it is self-cleaning it uses some water and vinegar and it just takes about 75 minutes to go through the cycle and just clean out any gunk that's built up inside the machine so technically it can be ready for you as soon as you're up and ready to have your morning brew going around the machine there's a built-in milk frother which is quite handy and was an upgrade for us especially because you were coming from a regular frother which needs replaceable batteries and it breaks easy it tucks away when not in use and removing it is as easy as a quick twist and a rinse now in no ways am i a coffee connoisseur but here's what i know about good coffee it needs to have a great aroma whatever you put in that coffee cream milk syrup whatever you still need to be able to taste that strong rich creamy almost coffee consistency and a strong bold flavor aroma is everything and i'm telling you that the aroma the richness the thickness of the coffee is really really up to par it's not like i had to say it the tim hortons coffee tim hortons is great when it comes to like flavored drinks or specialty drinks like their french vanilla or even their ice caps but just their black coffee it is pretty watered down and it's not the greatest but we do find that the tim hortons coffee that you get at the store uh, the ground coffee works great and it makes amazing coffee and i have tried that with this machine and it always results in amazing rich bold flavors and my wife who has been having coffee since i don't know like eight or nine for some reason but she is in love with it and when i talked about earlier about the boldness and the aroma of a coffee it was really apparent in my cold coffee that i just showed you and also in this cappuccino there's maple syrup in here there's a lot of milk that's been frothed up so there's a lot of like creaminess from there but i still taste that strong bold coffee all throughout and that's what i look for in a great coffee based drink even if it's ice cream or tiramisu that coffee that needs to shine through and it does when it's brewed with this machine now given everything that this machine does is this a good product compared to whatever else is there on the market now there's the nespresso virtuo next it's 80 bucks off the list price for 150 dollars right now and the only con is you can only use nespresso pods and actually another con is it's single serve only 
So if you're a couple or you're single, then fine, you may be able to sustain that. But if you enjoy your hot teas, if you want to froth milk, it just adds up. You either have to like get things to do those different functions or you can pick this machine that just does all of that. And personally, I'm not a big fan of the thought of being stuck in the Nespresso ecosystem because what if I want to use another type of pod, which I guess is questionable given that I'm in the Apple ecosystem. So then we have the Keurig. It only takes pods. It's single serve. And from personal experience, it's not the most robust. It has broken and given way easier than anything else that I've had in the past. The Philips 2200 espresso machine is a hefty 560 bucks, but that's a whole nother type of coffee drinker. And if you are already in the espresso mindset, then I don't even know why you're watching this video. Unless you're thinking of switching to a drip coffee or having espresso like coffee. Another popular option is the Cuisinart programmable coffee maker which is about 120 bucks and on sale currently for a hundred bucks. It only does ground coffee and no frothing. And then another popular one that I've been seeing everywhere is the Breville Bambino espresso machine. Again, espresso ecosystem and completely different than what this product is trying to do. I think when it comes to drip coffee, you can't go wrong with the sale price of this product. So I would not suggest that you buy this on full price. Look for a sale, Christmas is basically around the corner. So take advantage of it. And I think it'll make for a great gift for someone who enjoys drip coffee, pods, ground coffee, flexibility, doesn't want to be stuck in an ecosystem, doesn't want to spend the premium on espresso. I think it's going to be perfect and will look great, as you can see, in the kitchen as well. It is a nice modern design and I'm really happy with how this has been going. I'll give you a long-term review once we get there. And in the meanwhile, have a good one and happy holidays.